Alright, what's up guys? Um, so this is Songers again. I'm doing another tier list. This time, um, you know, it's going to be a duelist, dual tier list, again, focused on console. Um, but this is going to be, in specific, it's going to be um, around speed duels, which speed duels is the exact same thing as ranked duels, played in the same spot. But the only difference is, is that um, instead of five minute rounds, you have one minute rounds. Um, and instead of playing the best of five rounds, you play a best of nine rounds. I, you gotta win five. So you'd win five, two. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what it'd be. Because that is the format of the XDL, which is the competitive dual league that, I'm, uh, that I've started. Um, we're about in our second week of it. Um, by the way, $600 dual tournaments on console hosted by Walush. They are um, competitive friendly. He's, they're 100% legit. Uh, more zips I'm just one uh, the first one and it's about to get a lot more competitive as a lot more good duelists are going to be playing in that once again duels are competitive on console because um, there are mechanics that are unreactable to every single person in the game i.e. unblockables and bashes um, and you cannot react to parry flash on console so you actually have to play the game thus duels are competitive anyway um so we're gonna get into the list and if you feel like that's wrong you know the duels aren't competitive on console you're a pc guy and you're like nah, that's whatever feel free come on down to xbox that's where we're hosted um and play them you know i'm not saying that duels are competitive on pc because they're not right if you get people that can react but you know come on down and just prove it you know it beat everybody you know prove that it's just um character choice and reaction time right if you got a great reaction time you can react to parry flash just come on down so um but yeah we're gonna get started we're gonna go with the Wu Lin. All the way up. We're going to start off with Zanhu. B plus is going to be about the average mark gentleman. Um, what's he good at? Agi he's very agile, great spacing, relatively strong defense, good recoveries. The problem, his offense is so unbelievably bad. Frame disadvantage for chain uh, heavy unblockable. That's really bad. His unblockable light is obviously very reactable. Um, yeah, just lack of frame in chain. He's just got a very bad offense. You got to play very good defense typically, and you're playing a lot of defense if you're playing Zanhu. But he's still alright. Nuxia, let's find her B. Four and MS lights and a trap is unreactable. Nuxia is one of those characters that if you make your offensive reads, you can beat any character and anyone on that character at any point during the game. It's kind of crazy, um, to be honest. The problem is. Uh, it's super easy to get out of her mix-up. There's a lot of easy ways to do it. Um, she's also very weak to neutral hyper armor. So think Yorm, think Warlord, uh, Jane June, uh, Hidakiri, Shigoki, super weak to it. It's essentially just an option. Like even Aramusha and Tiandi with their dash forward heavies can uh, do some damage with that. Um, yeah, horrible range as well and low health. She's just going to be in B tier, a little bit below average, but she definitely has tools. She's not horrible. Tiandi has fallen off um, rec uh, recently. He used to be in like low A tier, but he's dropped now to B plus, right around average. Chain forward and MSS is great. He has a bash. It's the worst bash in the game in terms of neutral bash, but it is a bash, which is you know nice tool to have. Um, and his defense is phenomenal. He has so many defensive options, uh, and he's regret it. The problem is horrible. Probably the worst out of stand pressure in the game, if I had to imagine. Um, and his neutral pressure, it's just offense is just. It's just overall offense is not the best. Like, he's got all right, you know, but it's just not the best. So I'm going to put him in B+. Plus. We're going to pivot to, in my opinion, the undisputed worst duelist on console is going to be Monk. The only thing he has going for him is that his backwalk speed is really good. That's about it. I mean, he obviously, key stance is usable, and his chain lights are, um, if max delayed, are really hard to react to, if not unreactable for most people vast majority of people on console um but besides that i mean everything he has is just so weak neutral pressure is so bad he's a horrible dodge tech low health everything about him is just bad and he's gonna be very comfortably where he belongs in d tier jang june b plus one of the best forest picks in the game right now um about average he's got great health um good spacing big uh out of stam punishes um, and he's got, because of his kit in Sifu, he has actually really good counterattacks against neutral bash offense. Um, and he can kind of mess with frame too, um, frame mechanics too, because of Sifu. Problem is, um, his offense, even though he does have an unblockable, is just underwhelming. A lot of times he doesn't get heavy hits done off before he gets his unblockable, so it's very easy to get out of. Um, 
Speaking of heavy hit stun, Hidikiri, we're going to put her in A tier. Um, just a very safe, safe character to use. Lots of hyper armor, lots of frame, lots of health. Just easy, easy to play, easy to understand. Um, her kick mix-up is really good if you have heavy hit stun. If you don't, that's really your only weakness is if you don't have it. Oh, also, she has the worst lights in the game uh, by far. The recovery on them, you can essentially just keep dodging the heavies. Um, and if you end up dodging a light, you just get a guard break. It's so bad. Um, so, just, yeah, you just don't use her heavy her lights. Um, but she also, if you don't have heavy hits done, her kick mix-up is pretty easy to get out of. Speaking of easy characters, Cheeto should be going to be an A tier. Um, messes with some of the fundamental things of the game. Um, his defense is absolutely outstanding. Great dodge attack, crushing counters, the Kaze stance. In and of itself, is just game-breaking. Um, the only thing, and a chain, I mean, he's got decent, his offense isn't the best. It's designed to, he's designed to whittle your health down. He's not designed to keep you in big chunks. Um, with that chain bash, his, you know, the only weakness would be is his offense is relatively mad. Which is true, but that's not the whole reason why Kyoshin is an A tier. Um, Musha, also an A tier, and this is something I'd like to see. The Samurai used to be one of the worst dueling uh, factions in the game, and they have arguably become the best. Aramusha, recovery, um, the hit stun. He's got two forms of unreactable offense with the uh, faint to bash, and uh, deadly faints on console are basically unreactable. Um, just great outboxing style of play um he the only really weakness that he has is that his offense is super bad against those with dodge bashes um like shigoki and conk and a little bit of warden a little bit uh not really lawbringer because it's so bad but a stray a little bit um that's about it um just super strong uh, i know he's s tier in pc because you can simply react to everything and you can't react i think his um, faint to bash, but yeah, he's he's A tier, very strong on console for the same reasons. Um, Shinobi, well not the reactability, but Shinobi, gonna put him in C tier. One of the best defenses, like a really good defense actually, really good, like JJ, really good against bash characters, neutral bash characters, good spacing, um, can kind of just outrange it. Problem is he has the undisputed worst offense in the undisputed worst offense in the game and that's really what puts him down in C tier um, you know if he gets his rework we could be seeing him in A and possibly S um, um, tier but until then he's just going to be the C tier um, pick very hard to play as well Nabushi speaking of hard to play we're going to put her in B tier as well um, great defense um, for the majority of the players in the game your kick slash uh, undodgeable heavy is a 50-50 um, so to speak um, but the problem is there are a very there's a small amount of people that can react to kick on console um, she's also extremely hard to play you have to be extremely precise i.e. it's probably better that you have really good reactions to play Nabushi um, and if you have really good reactions you might as well play someone who's better um, yeah I'm gonna very below average Orochi speaking of someone that used to be below average for so long S tier easy easy S tier on console um, probably the best overall character in the game. Great in twos, great in ones, great in fours. Got good feats. Um, yeah, just overall phenomenal. The Storm Rush. Um, most people really can't react to Storm Rush. There's some that can though. Even if you can react to Storm Rush, um, the kick, the unblockable, his recoveries, his defense, he's still got pressure for you, and he's still S tier. The reason, though, is because Stormish is unreactable to most people, he is just dominates matchups. Um, he probably has the easiest and most dominating matchups in the game on console because of Stormrush and its applications. Um, next up, Kensei. I'm going to put him in B tier. It's just decent force. Right? Good, good force pick. It's just underwhelming. Offense is really mid. The faint to bash um, can be lighted out of a lot of things. Uh, it's got slow and I mean now blockable is decent. Um, good dodge attack, good spacing, but just underwhelming. I'm gonna put him in about B tier. Um, Shigoki, another S tier pick. Great health, great easy access to blockable, variably timed. That headbutt, both as defensive and offensive in chain, so strong. 
Um, and honestly, the hug. He, he by walls, he's an absolute monster. Guard break, demon ball, that's 24 damage, and he can potentially get a hug. That's 20 damage plus 10 health. 54 damage swing off a guard break. Unbelievable. Um, really, his only weakness is it's hard countered by Orochi. Absolutely gets destroyed by Orochi, which for the longest time that was not the case. Uh, but, you know, games change. Um, am I missing any samurai? I don't believe I am. All right, we will move on to uh, the Vikings. And I'm going to put Yorm in C tier. A lot of people put Yorm in D tier. Um, however, I do think he has one redeeming quality is if he gets you out of stamina, he can win the game right then and there. He's got a couple big punishes. Um, and he can keep you. Um, there's a couple things if he gets by a wall, just light bash over and over and over again gets you in that corner. And he can just keep doing that indefinitely until he runs out of stamina. Um, he also has a couple very big 80 plus damage. Um, if you get a parry, you can light into unblockable, and then you can play the bash or GB mix-up. If you get a GB after doing the light into unblockable, oh, and it doesn't get wake up. Um, that's 42 off light and unblockable. And then I believe, what is it? Because you get the hammer slam, 35. You get the heavy, which is going to be, I don't know. It's like, you're, you're talking like 100 plus damage off of two bad reads. It's absolutely absurd. Um... Yeah, Yorm can completely turn a fight if you get out of stamina. The problem is everything else about him is so ass. He's got the worst frame, I think, in the entire game. His spacing is so bad. His bash is really slow. A lot of people can react to it um, at high level. Um, he's just bad. He's just Everything else is bad. But the out of stam pressure, I think, it, just the fact that he can switch it. He can completely change a game out of stamina. Um, I really think it puts him above... D tier. I think D tier is like you're throwing. There's no way you can win. And I think C tier there is a way. And so I'm gonna put him at C tier. Speaking of, it's hard. Highlander in C tier. Um, he's one of those like Nuxia. If you you could potentially be any character. Can like there's there's a route. The problem is he also has great backstep light and a lot of access to heavy hits done. Uh, the problem is is that his main mixup is easily countered by the majority of the cast that kicked Caber. Uh, he only gets a light attack on GB. I mean, he does get a top heavy off wall splat. Um, there's just so much risk in playing him. Um, he takes he takes a lot of stamina to get his damage in. Uh, it's just he's just it's just, just better characters for it. I mean, he he's a fun character to play. He's a very hard play character to play. Very rewarding character to play. But he's not he's not good um, in any sense of the imagination. Uh, we're gonna go to Shaman. I'm gonna put her in A minus, the first A minus tier character we've got. She's just got a lot of things that make her above average, but she's so her bite. She and Shigoki are the two characters that can actually heal mid game, and that is invaluable. Um, she's got bleed, which is unreactable to the vast majority of people, and honestly, even the top level freaks like they get they have counter plays against it, but it's still unreactable. Um, she has a dodge attack, which can be delayed so unbelievably long. And her heavy hits done in chain makes those, um, like, it's like Tiandi, where if she gets heavy and then goes into her chain heavy, um, you do anything to try to interrupt, you can get GB'd out of it, and that is huge, and it makes you stare and wait, and then she can get access to the unblockable, which normally you would be able to light her out of if you make that read, but you don't want to light someone out and take a bite or eat the heavy, because um, that will happen if she faints either to GB or commits to it. Um, so yeah. She's very strong. She's, she's very strong in that way. She has bad spacing, um, and then she's weak versus very big time bash characters. I'm very for versus bash characters and um, <sighs> very big time heavies. I was blanking on the word. Um, but yeah, once she gets that bleed on, she is a different beast, and it's pretty easy for her to get bleed. Valk, similar to Highlander's struggles, is just her main mix up. The soft faint bash is just so easily countered by anybody with dodge attack and sweep and her like side finisher lights that do massive stam damage. It's just all countered by dodge attacks. Um, she has great defense, but it's just not worth it uh, in my opinion. Her offense is just really underwhelming. Uh, I'm gonna put her in around C tier. Zerk, put him at the bottom of A tier. Unreactable lights, um, consistent unreactable lights. If you know the tech. Um, 
one of the best chain pressures in the game. The problem is his neutral game and his range is getting to it. First of all, he has to close the gap of range, and second of all, is his neutral pressure is pretty bad. But his chain pressure is really good, and his deflect is really good too. Um, just ignore his hyper armor, and yeah. Warlord, speaking of hyper armor, I'm going to put him at the top of A-. minus. He used to be a consistent A or S tier. He's kind of dropped off. He's still strong. He's still above average. Um, great frame. His headbutt has, in terms of the bashes, has the highest hit rate in terms of any bash in the game on console. Because remember, offense is favored on console because um, you can actually draw attacks because uh, they'll land. Um, hyper armor and his all guard has a lot of depth to it in, in play. The problem is he has no dodge attack. Uh, that's probably his biggest thing right now. Uh, just he has really he has to make the read on the unblockable. Um, hard read every time. And he has poor matchups into S tiers. Um, but he's still good. He's still a good character. Raider. I'm going to put him in S tier. One of the best offenses in the game. Um, just his offense. He is the best. He has the best pressure in the game. Undeniably. You can't really interrupt him. Um, he's so good. Uh, just so many different ways he can hit you. So much damage. And he's got a high health pool. So. Just really good. Just really good character. I'm gonna easy S tier. He's kind of weak versus all guard characters like Musha and um, Kyoshin. But besides that, he's just. He just dominates. Absolutely dominates. And Roach. Roach is good in him. Pivoting, we're gonna go to the Knights. We're gonna start off with Griffin. Um. Chain pressure, phenomenal with that kick mix-up. His dodge check is good, and he's got easy-to-play mind games. He also has one of the highest... I think he has the highest wall spot punish in the game, which is um, if he gets a GB, he gets a top heavy for 32 damage in a ranked map. That will happen a lot. Um, the problem is is that his neutral game is dog shit. Uh, so you got to play a lot of defense, kind of like Zanhu. got to play a lot of defense. Uh, Astrea. I'm going to put her in A-. minus. Uh, heavy parry getting the same value of light parry. Um, unbelievable. She's a good 50-50. Uh, her, her, her bash mix-up is really good. But the problem is, is that she has slow lights that she needs to use to get into said thing. That is her main problem. BP, best dueling character in the game. Um, has all the tools. And the flip is just an unbelievable mechanic that breaks a lot of the rules of the game. Um, crushing counters... He has the best form of offense in the game, which is a variably, a neutral, variably timed stand pause bash. Only he and Conqueror have it. It's the best single form of offense in the game on console because um, they're favored. Uh, the hit rate, you, you have to make reads on them. You can't just react to orange, so you have to make reads, uh, and it's super strong because of that. Problem is, he doesn't have a lot of frame, so... It takes a lot of mastery to really, really get good with him. But if you do master Black Prior, it's like Highlander or Nuxia, um, where you can play perfect and you can perfectly play any situation, right? Um, but he can do it on defense and offense. Also, neutral and blockable is great, too. Probably the, one of the best total out of stand pressures in the game. Um, probably the best, now that I think about it. Yeah, right, Black Prior, S tier. Gladiator. He is the top of B+, plus, right around average. He just does what the S tiers do, but worse. Um, he's got a bash, you know, that's fast, like Warlord, the toe step. Um, he's got easy access to unblockable. He's got good dodge attack, but he just doesn't put them all together, right? You would rather play someone else than Gladiator. Um, get the same value. Some of the people that have fallen off scent, he's going to be the top of below average. What he does have is he has one of the best out of stam pressures, and he can bully your stamina because he's got 160 stam himself. Um, he's got stamp pause on his stuff too. Well, actually, I'm sorry. Scent also has stamp pause bash as well as conk and BP. Uh, but his is a lot easier to react to or, or deal with, not rather react to. I believe it's also unreactable on console, but it's just a lot easier to get out of. Um, but it, if he gets you out of stamina, he can keep you out of stamina and kill you. Uh, while you're out of stam. It doesn't matter if he's at like 1 HP and you're full health at 100. He can kill you. The problem is he has that, which is absolutely lethal. And it's crazy. It's like a better version of Yorms, to be honest. But the problem is he's a one trick. He has, his unblockable is bad. Uh, it can be lighted out of very easily. His variably timed is the worst version of it. Because one, the, the, hit, the hit boxes is horrible. And two, it doesn't have hyper armor. 
Um, he has horrible range, and he doesn't have a dodge attack, so he has to make hard reads on every unblockable. Um, and it is pretty... There's a lot of ways to get out of his mix-up, right? Um, like Warden and Astraea, that's their problems too. It's very easy to get out of those mix-ups. PK, I'll put her in B, just below set. Um, Worst Raider is exactly what her moveset is. Uh, horrible range. Um, I mean, she does have good pressure if she gets bleed. Usually the thing is if she gets bleed. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, and, and he can be doable, but even if she gets bleed, it's easy to outspace her. Blobbringer, gonna put him in A minus. Um, definitely above average. Heavy parry, light parry, the same value. Um, chain pressure is great. The problem, neutral pressure. Once again, that is the biggest thing. That the difference between the majority of these guys is they either have phenomenal defense, 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 and then look amazing pressure, great pressure, good pressure, decent, decent pressure. You know, and then we're talking chain pressure. Like they have some sort of pressure that's actually viable. Uh, but yeah, neutral, neutral game is just shit. He's a medium. Medium difficulty. You need to have good reactions. Conk. I'm going to say the bottom of S tier just because of the offense, which is the bash. His bash is it's the best form of offense in the game. Um, and he doesn't need anything else. The problem is it's only that. So you get really used to reading bashes against Conk bars. You make some good reads. You'll win. His defense is also really good too, but his spacing is also really bad. And then Warden. Going to put him in A-. minus. Um, takes too much stamina to do stuff. He's definitely above average. Because of his kit uh, of blockables and that bash mix-up. But he just takes so much stam to do whatever he's got to do. Um, just a little outdated. Uh, but he's not bad. He's definitely above average. So that is going to do it for us, gentlemen. We kept it under 25 minutes for 29 characters. Um, once again, the XDL. Calm down. Uh, it's got the best players. <laughs> Someone, someone just messaged me. Um, get the best players on on Xbox there. Uh, and it's, it's a fun time. If you want to check it out, check out Songers Gaming on Instagram. And uh, yeah, I'll see you around. Hopefully see you there, boys. Until then. Oh, by the way, Diamond 5. If you want to be in that league, you got to be at least a Diamond 5. So start grinding, gentlemen.